machine empires. Now listen to me carefully. Is being given a special package, and I don't want you to open it. Do not open it. All right, open your boxes. Open your boxes. One, two, three. Alloys. 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 We have a hot fix. It has arrived. Patch 3.1.2 and it has fixed all of the issues that the community highlighted with the release of the LEM update, right? Oh, my sweet summer child. Is it better? Yes. Have they fixed all of the issues? No. Have they fixed most of them? Absolutely. They have fixed and removed the ability to turn science ships into doomsday weapons. Personally, I thought that was a, a great feature we had. I'm sure their fleet will be able to defend them from the... But they've got rid of that now and it is gone. I have tested it. They have also removed the broken exploit where you could really hone in your skills of trading and dealing and really understand the art of the deal and enable you to just get dodgy trade deals out of the AI empires because you have a base five acceptance from that tradition. 30 energy credits and one energy credit per month would be great. That plus five is now gone in trade deals. You cannot do that. But the big one, alloy production of catalytic processing machine empires. What did they do about that? Let's dive in and find out how they fixed it. If you enjoy this video, please process that like button. You may remember the Silicron Multiplex. They are a fantastic race of machine intelligences that worked out how to use, uh, I would say food, in this case I'm going to say magic, to pull alloys out of thin air. Now, of course, there has been a patch, but we still need to find out what changes have actually been made to the game. Here we are, back again. Let's move over to our capital and just try demolishing those two agriculture districts to start with. And, of course, sell this extra food we don't need to push us into that deficit. All right, we're now running a deficit. That is giving us a modifier, a minus 50% to alloy production modifier, in line with the same kind of modifiers that we get if we are a biological species and we run out of minerals. If, if we're trying to produce alloys and we run out of minerals. But how have they implemented it? Well, instead of producing four alloys per pop base, we are now producing two alloys per pop base. Our modifiers, for instance, our high stability, our machine capital, all of those things are still adding percentage modifiers onto this too. So each robot is producing 2.58 alloys, but that's not very much. That's, you know, that that is that is a nerf. If we have to use per pop, uh, only get with, with lots of bonuses here, that's, that's around 30% in terms of bonuses. If we're only getting two and a half alloys per pop, that's not great. But is that the whole story? Here we have a biological species running a deficit of minerals. So this is affecting that alloy production from jobs minus 50%. If we open them up and take a look at one of them, here we are. We have uh, gone from producing three down to 1.89. And that is partly because we've got this minus 50% empire wide modifier. I think it's pretty clear from this example that being in a resource deficit in terms of producing your alloys is much easier and much better if you are a machine empire than if you are a biological species. But how have they implemented it with robots? Well, they didn't give us a minus 50%, they gave us a minus two. Is there any way that we can get around this? With Stellaris Nemesis, Alloy foundries and their upgraded buildings got new purpose. Instead of uh, just giving us jobs, alloy jobs, they changed to give us a percentage modifier and then they changed to give us extra base alloy production. So this alloy nano plant is going to add plus two alloys to our drones. If we jump over to some of our drones, we have 10 catalytic drones. We're still producing a phenomenal amount of alloys at no upkeep and at no real cost to us. 
I've got some modifiers there. That's around 50% uh, additional modifiers, but I'm producing base four alloys. Have they nerfed the, uh, the catalytic processing strategy where you can run a, a food deficit as a machine empire? Yes, they've made it weaker. Had they made it unviable? No, absolutely not. This is still, if you really wanted to, per, per, per job here, per pop, six and a half alloys is, is plenty, especially given that there is no mineral upkeep at all. This minus 50% or minus two, in fact, they've simply gone and changed the base production number of these free alloys from four to two. Now, when you take a minus 50% on a biological empire, that goes from three to one and a half, but it's also done as a minus 50% modifier, not just a minus two base number. And because of this fact, you can still milk all of those free alloys as a catalytic processing machine empire. I think we've had a fast hot fix from the developers. I think that's been great. They fixed a whole host of issues and a whole host of exploits, but this one doesn't really seem to have been fixed. From where I'm sat, catalytic processing is still broken. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently.